The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, we're looking at our Rude Ultra unit. It's a single stage, five ton. I believe it's a 16 sear because it's got, it's got the board on it, no contactor. I've already done most of the work, but I thought I would explain to y'all what's going on over here. We had a code right here, code 27, which is abnormal line, uh, low line or no line voltage. I'm thinking that my power surge or something, so it threw that code and the unit, you know, wouldn't want to run. So we reset the board and uh, we checked voltage. We had, you know, perfect line voltage, about 240 volts. Uh, all that was squared away. I cleaned it, it was uh, dirty, so I cleaned it up. Checking pressures right now. That's a TXV. Might put a little bit of, well, sub cooling is coming up. I believe these units call for around 10. We're at six, plus or minus three. So if we can get up to seven or eight, just get that superheat down a little bit, I think we'll be okay. But uh, the, this is an Emerson board, same people that make the Copeland Skull compressor. And you know, anytime that they have a power surge or something, they're, they're pretty sensitive. You know, they'll trip a code really easy. Uh, Ream uses these boards, as does Goodman. Ream, Rude, Goodman, Namana, Daikin, they use these boards on their two-stage equipment. Obviously, Rude and Ream use it on these older 16-seer uh, single-stage equipment because this is single-stage. But we did a reset and uh, I've, you know, refired the system several times, cycled it at the thermostat and uh, cleaned it. It was a little dirty and it seems to be running just fine now. 410A. Uh, I'm gonna bring if that subcooling doesn't get closer to 10, I'm gonna add a little gas and get it closer to 10 or at 10, and then uh, tell them if they have any more issues, give us a call back. All right, guys, I've given this unit plenty of time to run. My subcooling is not quite where I want to see it. I'm gonna get it closer to 10. I got my 410 set up. Add a little gas. Here's the information if anybody's curious. Maybe you Rude or Ream guys can tell me by that model number exactly what sear this is. I'm guessing it's a 16. Okay, came up a little bit, got it to seven. Yeah, it looks like it wants to climb up to about eight now. I knew it wasn't gonna take much. I just put a little squirt in there. We'll let that settle down for a few minutes and then we'll get back to y'all. I'm a lot happier with that. 10 degrees of subcooling, 12 degrees superheat. That's much better. And I, I bet you I didn't even put a pound in there. Maybe half a pound I put. Brought the subcooling up to 10. It, it's, it, you can see the expansion valve is playing a little bit. It'll drop down to about eight, then come back up to 10. Which is normal. See, we're hovering right at nine and a half, which is, I'm fine with that. You know, it drops down to eight, which is still fine. And then it'll come back up to 10. So I think we're good. All right, guys, probably wasn't the greatest video, but I thought it might be something a little different. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.